In this video, I will show you how to use R Commander to do Bivir analysis. It includes making a cluster bar chart, contingency table, scatter plot, and side by side box plot. Bivir means two variables. So, Bivir analysis means that analyzing the association between two variables. So, when both variables are categorical, like allergy status and gender, and in this case, we would do, usually do contingency table and then make cluster bar chart to display the join distribution of the two variables. I'm going to use the R commander. And uh, with this particular practice data set, I have gender and allergy variables. All right, so I'm going to first make a contingency table. So I click on statistics, contingency table, and choose two-way table. I'm going to pick gender as one of the variable and allergy as the next. So gender, I use it as row variable. Column variable is allergy. Now, usually people use a risk factor variable as a row variable. So in this case, it's very similar. Like a risk factor is a gender, right? If you are a different gender, you have different rate of allergy. Okay. And if you click on statistic tab, you can actually choose uh, to ask uh, our commander to report row percentage distribution, right, or column percentage distribution, or overall percentage distribution. Uh, row percentage distribution will allow us to see the allergy uh, status distribution for each row of the gender variable. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. And the R commander will, will actually display some information in the output window. So the first one is a frequency table. So you see for gender, that's a row variable. The first row is female. The uh, allergy distribution is 8 and 10. A for no's and uh, 10 for yes. For male is 6 and 3. So if you look at this distribution, realize that female are more likely to have allergy than, than male. Okay. And if we ask for row percentage, you see the female there, about 56 of them have allergy, uh, and male have only 33%. So you see the distribution-wise, uh, for male and female, their allergy distribution is different. So that kind of telling us that there is an association between gender and allergy status. Different gender tests can have different risk of having allergy. All right, so that's by contingency table. Next, we're going to do cluster bar chart. Right? So click graph and bar graph. Okay. Then you can plot allergy status and click on plot by group and pick gender. So we'll be able to plot the allergy status uh, for different gender. You can do it the other way around. right? So you can click gender and plot by allergy. Too, right? Uh, if you do it differently, then the uh, the cluster will have different meaning. But it generally shows you the similar type of uh, 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 information. So if I click OK, well, actually, if you click the Option Tab, it allows you to do the labeling, right? And uh, there are two types of bar graph you can get. One by default, they give you the divided or stacked bar plot. That in that graph, the bar will stack on top of each other for each cluster. In fact, personally, I prefer the side-by-side -side box plot, which is also the cluster bar graph that uh, some of you have done this uh, in my uh, uh, doing graph by hand exercise. Right. Anyway, so I'm going to click OK. I'm going to leave a plot label later. If you want to do it, you can just fill in this label. But I'm going to click OK. You see this graph actually showing you uh, a cluster of female and a cluster of male their allergy status distribution. So female, actually, yes, is higher, uh, no is less, right? And for male, actually, the other way around. So this is kind of telling you that if you are a different gender, your allergy status distributions are different. This indicates that there is an association between gender and, and allergy status, these two variables. Of course, I can actually shrink it, make it a little bit smaller, right? and then click File, and then click Border, and then copy and paste it into my assignment document. If you're doing an assignment or reporting this finding, right? of course, underneath I can say Figure 
three in a cluster bar chart. Four, gender versus allergy. Okay, the next one we can do the uh, scatter plot. Scatter plot is for examining the association between two quantitative variables. So here we have high and arm span. So let's go back to the R commander. And I'm going to click on graph. Scatter plot. Scatter plot is a good plot uh, for describing or displaying the association between two quantitative variables. So I'm going to pick two variables, height and arm span. These are the two, actually only two quantitative variables uh, available on the list. Okay. And then you can click Option if you want to label them. So if you have X that is height and Y is arm span, you can go in there, uh, X label X axis as high, and Y axis as arm, arm span. OK, and then click OK. OK, if you go to the graph, as you see, this, this is a scatter plot, right? It's kind of indicating that if the height increased, the arm span increased, right? So this plot is generated by plotting each of those pairs of data point. You see this pattern, and you see a very clear straight line pattern, right? And as this graph is kind of indicating that when height goes up, the arm span goes up. So there is a strong or clear association and positive association between the two quantitative variables. So that's a scatter plot, right? Of course, and you can actually copy and paste this graph into your Word document for reporting your finding. Okay. Uh, paste. Okay. And from the shank. Okay. So that's when you have two quantitative variables. Now, what if you have one quantitative and one qualitative variable? Well, usually, the one graph I like to do is a side-by-side -side box plot. So I click on graph and box plot. I want to compare height among gender, right? So one variable is quantitative and plotted by gender. Gender is qualitative, right? So I can do that. Again, I can go to the option to to actually label these information. The X label, remember the uh, the box plot in default format for our commander to make box plot. They go in vertical direction. So vertical axis will be the height. Of course, in the X label, we labeling gender. All right, then if I click OK, just go back to check and make sure everything's OK. And then click OK, you'll get a side-by-side -side box plot. All right. So you have one box plot for male showing the distribution of height for male, and one box plot showing distribution for for female their heights. So this this is telling you the height for male in this range and high for female mostly is this lower range. So if you're a different gender, your high is a different range. So there's association between uh, gender and high variable. Okay.